Are you rolling, Seth? Yep. Okay. I'm rolling. <laughs> All right. Start off by going ahead and telling me your name. I'm Wilma Steele. I'm one of the founders and board members of this museum. I was a storyteller, and when I would find a story that was worthwhile to me, I would tell it. When I learned about Blair and the red bandana, I couldn't believe it. I was an art teacher, and so the design itself is fascinating to me. The red bandana was what the miners put around their neck to identify each other as Union brothers, and it represented solidarity and brotherhood. So the term redneck, we are the original rednecks, and we proved it when we tied those bandanas and marched together. An idea that people that were fighting and couldn't speak the same language could organize 2,000 people to fight for somebody else, that's a pretty powerful story. So the red bandana came in. That's how that the miners recognized each other. They would wear a red bandana signifying that they were pro-union. It played a, a big part in the history of, of organizing. That's just the way they recognized each other if they knew that the, they were union friendly. If they know they were taking part in union meetings, trying to form a union company with black ball. And of course, if they were black ball, they was pretty much doomed to starvation. During the teacher's strike, some of the very teachers I worked with heard the story, and it meant something to them then. They knew that this was their own history, and this was the way to do it, to organize and stand together. Their solidarity was amazing, their unity, their strength, and I was so proud to see them adopt their red bandana. That was pretty awesome to me for them to know and carry on that tradition. When we think of the mine wars, we think of the miners, but it's really important to understand the role of women in the coal mines. And it wasn't just doing the washing and cooking. They smuggled bullets into the camp. They supported the Redneck Army. I went in the mines at 18 years old, worked 21 years at a Bethlehem steel mine in Boone County. Loved it, loved it. But that relationship, that closeness, I have found with miners that I have met from all over the world. I still love my union. I still miss the mines. When I was on the roof boulder, every shift, I walked on ground that no one had walked on before. That was kind of awesome. At a time when Northern unions would not even allow immigrants and African-Americans to join the unions, there were African-Americans who assumed leadership roles in the local unions. There's a stereotype of Appalachia that would make one not think that. All of these people with red bandanas on, just the ability to communicate without having concepts that somebody else has given you about who somebody is. Judgment about what they wear or what they look like. Just listen to them, we're human. And we're not gonna agree, but we can still always be human. When human rights gets violated, it affects you then. If you have never forgotten the very basis of who we are and who others are, and don't let any story or narrative somebody else puts out cloud your vision.